practice area communities, or PACs as we call them at Perkins Eastman, are communities of people who work across our offices and um, practice architecture or design around a particular building type or practice area. And they share lessons learned and insights both online and then we've created spaces for them in the internet orchard where they can share lessons learned and best practices and even standard practice and um, codes and regulations related to their building type. We're organized in small team groups and there's not a lot of collaboration across teams. Projects can last years and years and there's a need for more collaboration and communication outside of one particular team. Our gatekeepers are topic area experts or people who are recognized as having a lot of experience in a particular building type. And so all the staff collaborate and share lessons learned. Um, then we have a group of gatekeepers for each of the practice areas or communities. The gatekeepers are experts in the areas of design. Turns out that architecture is a very uh, specialized field. When we design a room for, or when we design a bedroom in a senior living facility, it's very different from uh, when we design a bedroom in a, in a regular, I guess, uh, housing type of room. For instance, they might identify there's a particular type of material that's better to use in flooring in a senior living facility because as you age, um, your reflexes are not quite as sharp, and we want to make sure that we uh, utilize the type of material again and again. Really enables our uh, our our different offices, people in different practices, to uh, to come together. The packs really make it possible for us to uh, share the knowledge that uh, happens in a particular area. Um, if the New York office develops a new procedure for uh, for design, there's no reason why the person in the Oakland office shouldn't be able to partake in that. And what I like about them is that they um, have give a, an opportunity for those of us who have been around for a while in the firm and in the industry, uh, those of us who've had a lot of chances to make mistakes and learn from those to pass that kind of information on to other people in the firm and let them not make the same mistakes. What's learned for us is that there needs to be a lot of training, a lot of hand-holding again to work with people to understand the purpose of the communities, um, what they can share in the communities, how they can benefit from participating in the communities. I think that if you're considering starting an intranet or starting um, practice area communities in your intranet, the thing to do is to try to find the most, um, the people who are the most, have the most energy for uh, imparting their information to other people. Don't underestimate the effort that it takes in terms of training and education. I think a lot of times people want to throw technology as a solution and that's not really what it's all about. It's about the people um, helping them understand how to communicate with one another and share lessons.